I'm really enjoying getting to know this new dual oscillator, the Moo Moo Dual Oscillator from Genie. It is way different than the dual oscillators I know, like the DPO from Make Noise, or the Instruo CSL, or even the granddaddy of all dual oscillators, the Buchla Dual Waveform Generator uh, number 259. Uh, the similarities, of course, are there are two oscillators. The coarse tuning is here through zero. Uh, offset is coarse tuning for each. This is fine tuning, and this sweeps over one octave for each one. And there's this um, knobs here that manually can set which oct you know, which of five octaves you want to uh, go through and that is CV addressable. Uh, there's some fun tricks there. I'm just going to be talking through this to give you the lay of the land and then subsequent videos I'll just uh, make little short demos showing some of the tricks that this can do that other oscillators can't. Um, let's see. Let's take continue down here. We've got uh, so, uh, sine, triangle, sawtooth, it's a down ramp, square, and pulse width. Um, pulse width doesn't show up on any of those other oscillators I mentioned, CSL, uh, DPO, or the Buchla 259. Um, this is very cool. Uh, the pulse width ha can be, of course, uh, CV addressable, each one individually, CV in there and they each have an offset. And when this offset is all the way to the left, there is no sound. So it becomes uh, a sort of faux VCA that if you hit it with a sequencer, you can get all sorts of interesting, um, you know, patterns out of that. Uh, I will be showing you that soon. Uh, Another thing you don't see on other dual oscillators is this mixer section. We have an A input and a B input for each of them on each side here. Uh, you could take like a uh, triangle and a square and put them here, and then you can either flip before, between them or uh, crossfade between them. Uh, again, CV addressable, and here's the manual offset with the output here. So you could also use this in this oscillator in uh, LFO mode to uh, go back and forth between whatever uh, wave shapes you have uh, put into that mixer. Of course, you can put external sounds in here and you can use external sequencers or LFOs to uh, mix that. Let's see, over here we have sync inputs. We have uh, exponential FM inputs. These are one volt per octave. And then we also have through zero linear FM. Uh, this is really wonderful sounding and of course keeps everything tuned up even though you might have a wonderful uh, uh, rich uh, timbral FM sound. So here's our offset for through zero FM. And the other thing that other dual oscillators don't have is a noise section. We have filtered noise here. This is our noise uh, cutoff and our noise resonance. And you have low pass filter, a band pass filter, and high pass filter. Oh, and while we're here, there's a little button there uh, if you uh, press and hold it, it toggles between soft sync and hard sync for whatever you have going on there. Uh, we have a discrete noise output, so of course you could, uh, oh, and CV input, so you can send like random CV to your noise filter and have it come out here. You can also add noise a little to a lot to each individual oscillator. So this can get, uh, this is perfect uh, noise machine too. Uh, what else? I think that 
covers the basic overview. Again, what sets this apart is um, pulse width waveform and uh, noise and octave jumping CVable and this wonderful mixer section on each side. So take a look at that and I will be back with more short demos uh, looking at some of the fun things you can do with this.